Deoxyribonucleic acid, or as you know it, DNA, is the blueprint of biological life from its inception to its growth and finally to its death. It has helped scientists map out evolution by observing similarities and differences between genetic codes of us humans and other animals. Through the discovery of DNA sequencing, scientists were able to characterize ocean species, revolutionizing our understanding of how all life on Earth is connected. The classification of species was originally based off of visible traits. However, the discovery of DNA allowed scientists to determine how species are related to one another via their genetic material. The theory of evolution suggests that human life began in the ocean. A series of mutations in the species' DNA altered its capabilities from living solely in water to being able to survive on land. Tracing human evolution millions of years back to a fish, thanks to fossils and DNA, has shaped our view of the ocean. Today, the marine environment is something that humans do not belong in at all. We cannot breathe underwater and we are not adept swimmers. However, this strange environment defines our history and the genetic information used to explain our evolution lies within it. Nowadays, we live in a society where science is no longer just a topic in which scientists engage themselves in. Rather, the consideration for how science can be communicated back to the community is just as important. With science becoming more advanced in its technological research and development, people are starting to realize the reality of DNA mutation becoming a possibility. Thus, movies and books can be viewed as a new avenue where people can engage and relate in the discussion of science. In the next few moments, we'll explore the different ways in which the studies of DNA have been adapted by different popular outlets and platforms for people to better understand the subject of DNA. In recent years, as marine life and DNA become part of the mainstream conversation, we see its portrayal and adaptation in many popular films and games. One such explicit portrayal is wonderfully done in Finding Dory. The Marine Life Institute in Finding Dory may not be up front and center within the film, but it holds significance, being the facility that our protagonists venture in for a large part of the film. The significance of the Institute was also heavily emphasized to have important functions for marine life, such as serving as a conservation facility, studying of marine life, for which we infer that this is done potentially through their DNA, and carrying the slogan, we believe in rescue, rehabilitation, and release. This Oscar-winning art film adapted the exploitation of marine creatures and the misuse of marine biology. In this film, set in 1960s during the Cold War, scientists and authorities were interested in a human-like sea creature and hoped to study its genetic makeup and send it into space. This creature is intelligent, capable of language, of understanding emotions. Everyone's favorite Marvel character, Deadpool. While Deadpool is very well loved due to his quirky and uncensored personality, comic fans are also drawn to his Wolverine-esque healing factor acquired during his mutation, which mimics the healing factor of an axolotl, an amphibious salamander that has regenerative abilities. This reflects many scientists' real-life interests in marine creatures like axolotls and reflects their study into its genetic makeup and abilities for potential application to humans. Another crowd favorite, The Simpsons. Here we see a comedic take on the theory of evolution, illustrating that all life on Earth can be traced back to the ocean. DNA testing made these kinds of discoveries possible, showing that our genetic code is similar to marine life. In the video game Bioshock, Adam is a substance harvested and processed from a type of sea slug. It is believed to cause the formation of potent stem cells that have the ability to differentiate into any cell type. As revealed in the audio diary, Hatred, Adam is a vicious green liquid in its raw form. Adam is used for character ability development. The player can spend Adam at a gatherer's garden to gain plasmids and gene tonics to give their character new abilities or improve the ones they already owned. This portrayal of marine life genetic adaptation is hence also suggested within this game, shedding light on the various ways humans could benefit from marine life's genetic abilities. Along with marine creatures, DNA of microorganic plants has also been portrayed as useful for humans in popular culture. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire novel, the book describes how Harry swallowed a particular aquatic plant species called gillyweed, which gave him the ability to breathe and swim underwater through the enhancement of gills and fins. The movie adaptation of the book illustrates a clear picture of the transformation taking place which awed many audiences around the world. Wouldn't it be interesting if we could breathe underwater like Harry did? Although many may argue that this is pure fantasy, you'll be amazed at what this scene has sparked in science. In 2014, an article was published by the Daily Mail, 
where it reported that scientists are now discovering the possibility of merging human and algae genes to achieve underwater breathing capabilities. This means that scientists could one day use algae as a source of oxygen. In the past, the mindset towards marine biology has been one that is uncertain, doubtful, and with exploitative intentions. Today, it is fair to say that humans have become more empathetic to our marine counterparts as we learn about the complexities and the beauties of the ocean, which has been largely made possible thanks to the discovery of DNA testing. The representation of this technology in popular culture has propagated this concept of the almighty power of DNA and what it can do for us and the ocean. However, even though conservation efforts are on the rise and humans become more empathetic towards marine life, commercial interests take precedence over morality. As a collective humanity, the scientific community and the research they do is largely driven by commercial interests and for the benefit of larger corporations and institutions. We seek tirelessly to explore whatever we can, however we can. As our understanding and knowledge of marine life deepens, and as we discover the potential human benefits that can be provided by DNA of marine species, we now see the ocean and species in it as something solely for our personal use, as a tool that we can capitalize on and exploit. As Helmrich puts it, the ocean is a blue-green capital filled with wonders of undiscovered science that could benefit humanity in so many ways.